barbell bench press. So for, before we start the press, let's talk a little bit about the bar again. Remember, we got the knurling, we have the rings, the empty space, sometimes knurling in the middle. Now, when we go to grab this bar, we want to grab the same spot on each side for the core so we're centered. But the biggest thing is to ensure that we're getting a nice chest and tricep combination is when we grab this bar, we want our arm to be just outside of 90 degrees. So that when we come down, we're right around that 90 degree mark so we get a nice balance in our press. We're more stable, we're utilizing all those muscles. Now understand one thing with the bench press. This is a full body movement as much as we want to think it's just a press. Meaning it starts from our feet, also to stability in our hips and our upper back on the bench. Okay, these three points are super important to understand that, to make sure that we're stabilized on this bench so we can get the most out of our press. So with our feet, we're either going to be on the balls of our feet or you're gonna be driving those heels into the ground. Another thing is we're gonna keep these glutes nice and tight, okay? That's gonna keep us grounded into this bench. Then we're gonna pinch that scapula, okay? So our traps should be driving into this bench. We're creating force down into this bench, okay? Now when we go to grab this bar, we wanna think of our external rotation push-up. We wanna think about bending that bar, so we're creating that external rotation, firing up those lats, also to keeping that shoulder in a healthy position. Now, when we bring this bar out over our chest, when we bring it down, we want to be bringing it down near the bottom of our pecs, the top part of our sternum, so the top part right there in the middle part of our rib cage there, okay? From there, staying tight, we're driving straight back up, back over that chest, and right back down, nice and tight, firing off that chest. 